welcome to class 7 mathematics classes we are in congruency exercise 21a question number 11 in the adjoining figure triangle abc is an isosceles triangle so when when we say isosceles triangle the opposite sides are equal and the opposite angles are also equal okay so in which ab is equals to ac okay and ad is a median ad is a median means it is dividing these two triangles okay so ad is common to both the triangles and these two corresponding sides of these two triangles are equal okay here two triangles are there adb one angle one triangle and adc another triangle we have to prove that triangle adb adb is congruent to triangle adc okay and we have to prove that angle bad bad means this angle bad this angle and angle cad this angle we have to prove that they are equal okay so you can see here this triangle adb in this triangle this side is equal to this corresponding side of this angle this triangle adc okay and this ad is common to both the triangles we can see in the figure ad is common to both the triangles ad is the side and bd is equals to dc it is also given in the figure so by side 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 condition these two triangles are congruent side 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 okay so in triangle a d b and triangle a d c okay a d is equals to a d because common side common side of both the triangles db is equals to dc it is given and ba ba is equals to ca okay this is also given now you can see here now with these three conditions we can write therefore triangle ADB is congruent to triangle ADC okay by what rule side 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 conditions okay this is number one that we have to prove here and we have proved here okay so next is angle BAD is equals to angle CAD why they are equal angle BAD this angle we are talking about and angle CAD these two angles they are also equal why because they are corresponding angles of congruent triangles okay so that is why they are equal so we have to write here corresponding angles angles of congruent triangles okay so this is question number 11 next is question number 12 question number 12 in the adjoining figure okay adjoining figure means this figure triangle abc triangle abc is an isosceles triangle that means these two opposite sides are equal and these two opposite angles are equal okay in which ab is equals to ac it is given in the question and ad is the bisector of angle a bisector of angle a means these two angles are also equal okay 
and bisector of this angle so it's given in the figure BD is equals to DC so we'll go for side 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 condition to show that triangle ADB and triangle ADC congruent okay to show that these two triangles are congruent to each other we'll go for side side and side condition look at this AB is corresponding to AC okay and they are equal AD is the common side of these two triangles and BD is corresponding to DC and they are also equal so we can go for side 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 condition okay so let us do it in triangle A D B and triangle A D C okay we have to prove that these two triangles are congruent number one and another is angle B is equals to angle C that means angle B means this and angle C means this okay as this is an isosceles triangle um, by isosceles triangle property also we can say these two angles are equal but we have to show that these two triangles are congruent and we have to show that these two are corresponding angles of these two triangles and they are equal okay number three is BD the side BD is equals to DC okay and number four is AD is perpendicular to BC AD this line is perpendicular to BC we have to show this also now so side 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 is given in the figure this is a common side and these two are equal is given in the figure but uh, it is asked here BD is equals to DC2 so that they are equal so let us go uh, for side angle side condition these two angles are also equal since AD is the bisector of angle A bisector means what it is bisecting this angle into equal equal halves okay so suppose if this is 60 degree this bisector is bisecting this angle into 30 degree and 30 degree so let us go for side angle side condition okay you can go for side 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 condition also since it is given in the figure that BD is equals to DC okay but here I am going side angle side condition okay so in triangle ADB and triangle ADC okay first of all AB this side AB is equals to AC opposite sides of isosceles triangle and it is given in the figure also so we can write the region as given here okay and the angle this angle B A D angle B A D okay angle B A D is equals to angle C A D why they are equal since since okay A D is the bisector it is the bisector bisector of angle A and side angle side angle side AD is equals to AD why they are equal they are common common side ok now we can write these two triangles are congruent because of side angle side condition therefore triangle ADB is congruent to triangle ADC by side angle side conditions okay 
so this is number one that is ox to so number two is angle b angle b therefore angle b is equals to angle c why they are equal corresponding angles of congruent triangles okay this is number 2 and number 3 asked is BD is equals to DC again we can write therefore BD is equals to DC and what is the reason of their equality the reason is corresponding sides here angles here sides okay corresponding sides of congruent triangles this is number three okay and number four is ad is perpendicular to bc okay so ad is perpendicular this sign is read as perpendicular to bc okay why it is perpendicular as ad is the median median of isosceles triangle okay so this also we have shown the median of an isosceles triangle will divide the opposite line of this angle in equal angles that is 90 degree and 90 degree so that is why when this line is making 90 degree this side and this side also 90 degree then this is a perpendicular to this line okay so this is question number 12 next is question number 13 question number 13 in the adjoining figure this figure triangle ABC triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle that means these opposite sides are equal and this opposite angles are also equal that is angle ABC is equal to angle ACB this angle okay this this angle these two angles are equal if this is a isosceles triangle okay abc is a isosceles triangle and the side ab is equals to ac opposite sides are also equal for an isosceles, isosceles triangle okay and if bm bm is perpendicular to ac that means here it is making 90 degree okay both the sides it is making 90 degree and CN is perpendicular to AB so this line is making 90 degree both the sides here okay we have to prove that triangle BMC triangle BMC is congruent to triangle CNB number 2 is BM is equals to CN BM is equals to CN so this angle BMC this angle is also 90 degree this angle is also 90 degree okay and this angle is also 90 degree and we are working with this triangle BMC this triangle okay and another is C and B this triangle these two triangles we are working on see the figure properly now this angle angle B M C is a 90 degree and angle C N B this is also 90 degree so these two are equal okay and angle B no angle M C B this angle M C B means this angle and angle N B C this angle these two are also equal 
they are opposite angles of isosceles triangle and they are equal okay another is CB and BC is common to both the triangles BC is common to both the triangles okay is one of the side of this triangle also and one of the side of this triangle also so we can say that angle okay angle angle side angle angle side by this condition these two triangles are congruent okay so let us write in triangle BMC and triangle CNB okay angle BMC is equals to angle CNB okay why they are equal they are 90 degree it is given and according to figure ATF also you can write angle MCB is equals to angle NBC MCB means MCB is this angle and NBC means NBC this angle these two angles are also equal why they are equal opposite angles of an isosceles triangle okay and number three condition is BC okay that is the common side CB is equals to BC okay why they are equal they are equal because they are because this line is common to both the triangles common side okay so therefore we can write triangle BMC is congruent to triangle CNB that is by angle angle side condition okay this is number one that that is asked here to prove so we have proved it next is BM is equals to CN and these two sides are corresponding sides of a congruent triangle of congruent triangles okay so that is why they are equal B M this side and C N this side okay B M is the side of this triangle and C N is the side of this triangle and they are corresponding to each other that is why they are equal okay so the region is corresponding sides of congruent triangles okay so this is number two that is asked here to prove it so we have shown also we have proved also so here we have completed this chapter congruency with question number 13 so you practice properly these many questions okay these all are important and easy also to understand to do there is no operations like plus minus divide multiplications okay i hope you will practice very nicely and prepare for the examinations from this chapter also thank you very much